Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Now in today's video, I'm going to talk about how the Nobel winning technology CRISPR-Cas system can help detect the SARS-CoV-2 coronavirus. If you are new to the channel, I'm Dr. Han. I'm happy you are visiting my channel. Now in this channel, you will find science review content, update on the latest global health topic. I also like to share tips and tricks for students' academic and personal development. If these are your interest topic, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you have already subscribed, thank you very much for coming back. So on October 7th, the Nobel Prize in Chemistry 2020 was awarded to two female scientists who discovered a very powerful gene editing tool, the CRISPR-Cas system. And let's find out how this technology can be applied in help detecting the SARS-CoV-2 coronavirus. So like I mentioned in the intro video, today we are going to look at this CRISPR technology and how it can be integrated in help detecting the COVID-19. Now again, some disclaimer, this video is my interpretations of publicly available scientific information. This video does not serve as any advice on treatment for preventions and diagnosis of any diseases and I have no affiliation with any organizations and I mentioned in the video. So let's first look at the 2020 Nobel Prize in Chemistry. Now this award went to two female scientists this year, Dr. Carpentier and Dr. Dotner. They were both credited for the discovery of a genetic editing tool, CRISPR-Cas9. It's a genetic scissors, you can think about, about like that, okay? Now it can cut and edit genomes of animals, plants, and microorganisms with extremely high precisions, okay? Now, so today we are going to talk about some variations in this uh, CRISPR technology and how it applied in detecting COVID or detecting the SARS-CoV-2 virus. Now let's first have a recap on the current technology that is used for detecting COVID. So this is the PCR test, the most common utilized technology these days to detect the SARS-CoV-2 virus. First you do a uh, swab sample of the nasal uh, cavity and then it went through a reaction called polymerase chain reactions, PCR, with a specialized machine here. I have a star here to amplify the viral genetic material and therefore detecting it. Now, so I have a detailed uh, video up here at the corner, you can check about it and how it worked. So what is new in COVID detection these days? Now there have been a couple publications already describing how to use the CRISPR-Cas system to help detect the specific SARS-CoV-2 material. Now it utilizes a system, a protein called Cas. Now this protein actually you can think of it as a scissor, a protein scissor which can cut the genetic material, either RNA or DNA depending on the variants of this Cas. The first one being detected was this Cas9, okay, by the two female scientists I just mentioned. Okay, now and then there are variants these K called the Cas 12 and Cas 13 and we'll talk about these two variants a little bit more in the later slide. Now along with this cutting protein there is also a guiding system it, we call it a guide RNA molecule. This RNA molecule can interact with a specific gene or specific sequence in the genome and therefore guiding the scissors to cut very precise locations. So how does CRISPR work in COVID detection? Here we are uh, looking at two different systems here, the Cas12 systems on the left hand side and the Cas13 system on the right hand side. They are technically quite similar. The small differences here is that the Cas12 system recognizes single-stranded DNA and double-stranded DNA genetic material. So in order for it to detect like viruses such as the SARS-CoV-2, which carries only the RNA genetic material, those RNA material will first have to be 
uh, reverse transcribed to DNA molecule and then with the help of the guiding RNA molecule here in the red, then it will guide to recognize the specific sequence. Okay, now here on the right hand side for Cas13 system, the difference is that it can recognize SS RNA, single stranded RNA molecule. So for SARS CoV 2 virus, this is okay. Okay, now all you need to do is to amplify these existing RNA from the virus uh, to a little bit higher amounts. Okay, so do some pre amplifications and this. Uh, Cas13 with the guidance the RNA molecule will then be able to recognize specific sequence on the SARS-CoV-2 virus. So after recognitions, it will both do a little bit cutting on the genetic material, but it will also do something called collateral activity i.e. cutting some non-specific RNA in the regions. So scientists utilize this mechanism to put a reporter RNA here uh, into along with the entire complex. So during this collateral cutting procedures, it will cut this reporter RNA. Now this reporter RNA have two molecules linked to it. The F here represent a fluorescent molecule and the Q here recognized a quencher. A quencher can stop the fluorescent molecule from fluorescing. Now, if you cut this reporter RNA molecule, what you will have is to cut out the separate the quencher and the fluorescent molecule, and therefore the fluorescent molecule will fluoresce and being detected. So, along with recognizing the specific genetic material from the virus, this protein or this complex can also cut the reporter out, and at the same time telling you, hey, there is a virus. So what are the summary advantages of this CRISPR COVID detections? It is very specific and very sensitive because it can recognize the specific genetic material that are unique to SARS-CoV-2. Right? It can also detect a very low amount of viral uh, genetic material. This activity is very fast. It can yield result in within minutes to up to an hour, and it could also be used as a point of care uh, device, and no expensive equipment is required. And the best part is, is very low cost. So the take home message is that the CRISPR Cas system is a powerful tool to cut genetic material with high precision. It can be combined with reporter molecules to detect specific sequence of DNA or RNA. It can also provide potential rapid and specific options for SARS-CoV-2 detections. So here I have the link for a summary blog article talking about different SARS-CoV-2 COVID-19 detection method using the CRISPR-Cas system and I also included two linked articles describing specifically about the Cas2 technology and the Cas13 technology and how they can be applied in the uh, detections. So for those of you that are specific in the field and want to read more about those uh, technology and these two articles are actually very good. All these links will be in the description box down below. So I hope this video provided some basic information about the CRISPR-Cas technology and its application in diagnostic. That is all for this week and I'll see you again next Sunday for another video of COVID Update. Bye.